Well, we're back on Facebook and hopefully, keep our fingers crossed, everything's going to work because it's going in and out and I don't know why, but that's okay. Um, I have a fabulous guest with me. Her name is Brenda. Um, she is an author and she's absolutely amazing. And looking at her and kind of, I don't, I don't want to say judging you, but she <laughs> certainly doesn't look as if she's going to write a book with this sort of cover on it. <laughs> and it's called Death Deliverer. So I'm very, very confused. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is Vegas Live. I'm Ninon, and we're sitting in the Elvis Presley booth. Brenda, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You look good, you look happy. Thank you. I, I am. You happy? Why are you happy? I'm, I just got engaged. <laughs> oh my goodness. Which husband is this? Third, fourth, fifth? This is third. The third? <laughs> well, I just, I just had a, a gentleman on, and he's, he was with his, his uh, third wife for 12 mm -hmm. years. Um, you've just become engaged, mm -hmm. so you obviously can't live without a man. <laughs> Because you found one. Without this one. Without this one. Oh, this is one. It, see, see she, she's in love. I hope she's going to say the same thing in 10 years. <laughs> oh, next year. <laughs> well, you know how, how we are. We're in love and we all do this crazy mm -hmm. thing. And then it, we sort of get used to it and we forget mm. that the love we still should share. Yeah. Because we should share that love every day and all the time. Mm. I think it's just a matter of finding the right person. I was married to the right person for 29 years. Oh, that's James wonderful. loved you the world. I, I know you're up there somewhere looking over me because <laughs> you keep giving me messages about real estate. <laughs> not to do this or not to do that. Anyway, back to you. Um, now, you're an, you, you, you're an author. Yes. Um, this, is this your first book? This is my first book. Um, it took me about a year and a half to write it. Okay. Um, and it started off as a school project when I was in graduate school. So that was a couple of years ago? A few years back, yes. Okay. And I started out just writing it as a school project, mm -hmm. and then it just sort of escalated after that. And I thought, you know, I really should keep I'm gonna writing. Re I'm going to re 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 get it together again. <laughs> yep. How wonderful. And so little Do you little think the came inspiration out? came with this new fiance you have of of actually giving you the freedom of being you and being yourself and sort of being happy and creating life again? Um I think this particular book as you said it's 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 a little bit on the dark side so it may have been the stuff before. Oh, before. <laughs> oh, so, no, well that's right. So it is the, it's the new fiance mm -hmm. that actually has created it because you're looking at how great he is and how bad they were. <laughs> we twist it around and make it right. <laughs> so, so what made you come up with this idea? Because you've got this is. I, I mean, I'm going to just kind of what I see is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. You've got kind of the white and the dark. You've kind of got the Asian in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is. You, so you've got kind of all nationalities within here. Mm -hmm. She's actually Spanish. And, and so you've got Spanish. Yeah. So I'm saying so what I Spanish. see. Mm -hmm. So because of the white, right. the mask, and all mm -hmm. the torn up parts, and then the roses. It's really fascinating. I don't know if anyone can see that. I'm trying to get a <laughs> go close up of it. Um, so what is it about? It is about a girl whose name is Margarita, and she is 13 when the book starts out, mm -hmm. and she discovers that she was saved from a premature death when she was born from mm -hmm. death herself. And really? Death, was she told this, or did she... She actually gets to go and visit death, and death tells her about all of this. Oh, so she actually dies. She does not die but she gets to go and visit death. You can die for a little bit and come back, you know? Yeah, you, mm, you can, but in this particular instance, she doesn't die. Um, she just gets to go to it. an, she gets to go like to the other realm and wow. she gets to speak to death and death tells her her whole life story because she doesn't know. Her mother died when she was little. Yeah. And she doesn't know what really is going on. So she gets to see death and talk to death. And death explains all these things to her about her life and tells her that she also learns that she... Is this a true she, story? It is not. It is, it is based on things that I have been around in my life and okay. I sort of wove them into a story. 
Am I alive or am I? Where am I? What am I? I don't know what I am. Am I alive? Am I dead? What am I? <laughs> Just teasing you. But so you came up with this complete idea of, of telling a story, a fantasized story, actually. It is. It is. Um, it's got a lot of uh, Southwest lore in it that I, a lot of it is created by myself. Okay. Um, but I just took bits and Are pieces. Are you a lawyer? No. No. Just no. law. Law of lore. law of land. Oh no, lore. Oh, yeah. oh law. I'm lore. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. So it's um, a lot of, of Southwest lore um, that comes from you know there's like the what's called a curandera which is a like a medicine woman. I'm getting a total great <laughs> education. <head. laughs> So a medicine woman. So she's like a medicine woman. All she, a lot of people perceive a curandera also as a witch. Um, so she, she is, she lives in this in this town, mm -hmm. and you know she people go to her for different things. Did you actually know somebody like this, or did was there somebody in your town or in your kind of life that people kind of looked at her as being different? Um, there's a couple of people that I have uh, been around mm -hmm. that that I kind of took these the were not idea the two from. husbands. These were somebody no. else. <laughs> Just want to clarify that point. <laughs> Hmm. But so 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 you actually you know went on a story or you looked at something that people were kind of against but also wants to know what this per these people were doing. Yes, and it's also very focused on women. All the almost all of the characters in here are women in different roles. There's like the nurturing woman. There's the witch woman. You know, there is the naive woman. There's different different roles of women. But that's what women are, aren't we? And all, we, we, yes. we all carry that. Whoever, yes. we, whatever little place we fit in. Yes. So it's very relatable. There's something for for everyone in the so book. So is this going to be a movie? I would like for it to be a movie. <laughs> okay. Well, see what we can do. You never know. I mean, I've just been in touch with some people, and they're actually looking for women's stories and women's about women. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I'm about women, and you're you've written about women mm -hmm. or women, a woman's story, which there's a lot of characters in it mm -hmm. that would make a great movie. You mm -hmm. probably never even thought of that, right? Not really. Not when I started writing it. I no. just wrote it. So you could do. Well, make sure you've got to make sure you got the rights to the movie of this. Mm. So you better make sure when you leave here, go get the rights. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend will help you. <laughs> well, no, because it would make a great. I haven't read it, but what you're telling me, it sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. How does she end up in your life? How does she end? How does she end up? I mean, is she still around? Is um, yeah, this is actually book one of a trilogy. Oh, okay. So we have just the start of her from when she's 13 to when she's about 23. Okay. And then the second book will cover her from her 20s to 30s-ish. Yeah. And then the last book. And do you, do you already have, from the 20s to the 30s, do you already have that kind of put together in your mind as to the characters and yes. where she goes from here? Yes. And, and does that create from, because always the first book is the hardest, mm -hmm. and then when you're writing, you know, being doing sequels or making a series, mm -hmm. then the second second book I would think would be easier because you've already got all the characters, you've got everything put together and it's just a continuation. Um, yes and no because the second book is actually about her love interest. Um, because well, she's there's discovered a bit of a yes, so she's, she's discovered, discovered a man. She's discovered a man. <laughs> oh dear, oh, I bless you. <laughs> And so, but there's there's all these little you know supernatural secrets that are going on. Yes. That because she has to deal. Only with, she knows. Or others uh, know. No, she doesn't know. Oh, she, doesn't she doesn't know, know about her love interest secret. So she doesn't know about that. But other people sent it and see it. And do they try to connive with her? Um, no, not not exactly. Um, her love interest is trying to get her to accept who she is because she is what's called a deliverer that's yes. why she's called that which means she actually delivers the evil soul so she delivers the evil soul mm -hmm. and she doesn't really know who, what she is or who she is she's afraid of her oh. power she doesn't really? really know what to do with it how how it's going to work out in her life she's uh, you know, funny you're saying that because um, mm -hmm. I think a, much, a lot of people out there are afraid of their power mm -hmm. and I think especially women I don't think they realize that that um, they have this power and they're always afraid to step out mm -hmm. in case um, being it's funny I was just did on I think it was Facebook I just answered somebody had this problem that everybody kind of hates them and this that and the other and I said well if you step out you, you've stepped out mm -hmm. so stepping out on your book it means there's got you You've got people that are going to like you, 
right. and you've got a lot of people that are not going to like you. Right. But when you step out into the world, that's what you've got to expect. You've got to be able to expect the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. So don't look at all the bad things. Look at all the all the great things that people say about you. Exactly. You know, you go that way rather than. And he was going the bad side. And I said, No, 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 no. I've been out, I've been out, <laughs> I've been out there for years. So I'm used to the bad. I'm very used to the. There's a lot of bad stuff. Not, not everybody likes me. There's all oh, that's that woman again. They don't. You know, they don't <laughs> like me. But that's fine because I've got all my friends that like me. Mm -hmm. So that's where I gravitate to. So I think that's probably what she's going to go through, right? Right. She's also de dealing with some inner conflict. Um, she she has a vengeful nature and she discovers that she didn't know she was vengeful until her power came in she came into her power yes so now she's dealing with this vengeful nature and it scares her because she's like i have a dark side oh my gosh do you have a dark side oh yeah <laughs> i'm a gemini it's it's oh it's, oh yeah. hang on a second <laughs> hang on a second what day is your birthday june the 12th the 12th i'm the 19th oh so we now got four people <laughs> sitting here there's two of me and two of you and that's why i asked do you have a dark Dark side to you. I don't know if I have a dark side or not, but I think everybody does. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say yes, I do. I don't quite understand what it is <laughs> because I'm not quite there with that dark side. I I, mm -hmm. I I try to avoid anything that's sort of dark or mm -hmm. anything like that. I'm more of a positive person. Mm -hmm. So what is your dark side? Did you want to announce it or um, do you rather keep it? I think my downside is just that I, I can get, you know, depressed or something, you know, Why? pretty easily. Why do you get depressed? Um, just just different things, you know, that happen. I uh, I just take things maybe a little too personally sometimes. What difference is it going to make? I know. I know. It's it's the craziest you know, thing. I, I'm, I'm teach, trying to teach people a lot of this. What difference does it make? We're living in the moment. What happened this morning is gone. But I, it was rather cool this morning, actually. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing now is now. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to do in half an hour is interviewing another person. Mm -hmm. I know that. But anyway. <laughs> but we don't know. Yeah. So enjoy, because what difference does it make? Yeah. And and I'm learning that. The older I get, the more I'm learning that. Yeah, pity we didn't have that when we were young. I know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I was such a shy little thing, a crazy little thing when I was young and everything else. <laughs> so what made you write? Did you think you could write or did you feel you had the the, the I despot? love to write. I oh. love, love, I've always loved writing. I love words. I like word play. Um, so I, I have always been a writer. I've always been very good at English. So. so she's good at English, she's good at writing, her name is Brenda, she's absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, where can they get this book? Uh, this is available exclusively on Amazon. <gasps> Amazon is back again, the, the, I yep. believe the stock went up today, I'm not sure. I think it went up or down. Oh, <laughs> it went up. <laughs> oh, 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 you bought some at $10, right? Yeah, this is one that bought one. All right, <laughs> okay. And I am also um, having a book signing on Thursday. Oh, book signing on Thursday, where? Yes. It is at 265 East Warm Springs, Suite 107, and that is the ONAC uh, Native American Center. Okay, the ONAC Native Na American Center, and what time? It is at 5.30. Until? Until 7. Until 7. 5.30 till 7. Mm-hmm. Absolutely amazing. How, how, how has it been perceived so far on Amazon? Have you done quite well? I've done okay so far, considering that I'm a brand new author that nobody really knows yet. Well, they know you now. <laughs> Believe me, you're going to be around. Absolutely. And this is what we do with Vegas Live with, with Nina. We actually bring people out that actually don't have a, a, a forum or a place to go to present what they have. So this is what we've kind of put ourselves into. We didn't start that way, mm -hmm. but that's where we kind of are now. We, we help people to get out there. You can't get on the big interviews and the, there's no small interviews. So here we are, you know, helping as many people as we can out there. Mm -hmm. So I wish you all the best. Thank you for coming on, Brenda, as my guest. Thank You're amazing. You. Thank and, you. And uh, you've got guts. Well, she's a Gemini, <laughs> so I know she has guts, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll be right back, Vegas Live with Ninon.